Hello everyone, Chris Clamp here again and welcome back to my studio. Today I've got a very exciting video for you. I've wanted to cover this topic and this product for a while, but I wanted to do it right. I was a little nervous about doing it wrong, so today I've decided it's the day. So stay right there, let's dive in. Okay, everyone, you probably have that special product or something very special that you use in your studio that has just been a game changer, something that has just really worked its way into your workflow and you cannot imagine working without it any longer. I definitely have my share of things like that in the studio. But one thing in particular has really become super important in my workflow and I absolutely love this product. That product is the paint book by Edge Pro Gear. The paint book is a beautifully designed small easel that has endless possibilities. It's the design of a laptop computer essentially, which opens and closes with two hinges on the back that have a, a really good tension system in it so it stays put. The other amazing and elegant design elements of the paint book or the use of these strong magnets throughout the device. The magnets hold everything in place. The side panels are clipped on and held in place with magnets. The pallet, which comes loose, is also held in place with magnets. The turpentine jar is also held in place by magnets because these are metal, the side trays. And the component that holds your painting in place here with the quick slide grips is also held in place by magnets. There's also some other magnets behind all of this, and I'll go into that a little later when I talk about a few tips and tricks that I use with my paint book. But this is a wonderful small tool that has so many possibilities. I've taken my paint book out in the field and used it as a plein air easel. I've also taken mine to another artist's studio and used it to work from a model. I also use it here in my studio every day. It's, just, it's not just a small outdoor easel. It is fully equipped to be a powerful part of your tool set in your home studio as well. Whenever you disassemble your paint book and you're ready to go, the side panels come off very easily and the lid closes and it comes off your tripod with a simple tripod connector. So all in all, this is about the size of a 16 inch laptop computer. So all of these pieces and parts fit easily inside of a backpack, a messenger bag or a tote bag and then you're ready to go and paint outside or in another location. I picked up my paint book in 2017. It was a little expensive at the time, and now they are a little bit more expensive. So it is quite an investment. However, I tell you, it is a huge investment. I do not regret it whatsoever. It has become uh, incredibly functional in and out of my studio and the other thing is it's a joy to use there's so many things that i've had in my studio or just in my life in general and whenever there's such a pleasure to use it is so nice 
and and it's no longer just a thing it's a part of you and i can definitely tell you that the paint book is something that really is a pleasure to use the the company edge pro gear has done an amazing job designing this product and they've designed it with the working artist in mind so with all of that said let's get a closer look at this product so i can describe some of the great things about it and some of the ways that i've tweaked it to make it work better for me whenever you get your paint book you have the option of getting it in three sizes today there's the large paint book size which is what i have there's also a medium version and a smaller version they're all essentially the same just different in terms of size. The paint book also comes in a variety of different finishes. You can get a simple painted black paint book or get them in a variety of different stains such as cherry and walnut. The one that I have is ebony. So I'll show you that again so you can see how beautifully stained this is. There are also some artist series versions as well through their website such as Casey Bow, Jeff Hine, and Joshua Rock that have their own interesting color or stain variation. Again, I have the ebony stain, so I'll show you that. So you might feel a little bit more informed about what you like. It's a beautiful sort of warm, dark, dark brownish color, this kind of gray. I love it, and I love how on the inside uh, it's a dark color. So it's not very distracting whenever I'm painting. When you get your paint book, you're essentially going to get the paint book itself. You're going to get three of these clips. These clips is what holds your painting in place, the panel or whatever. And you also have a removable palette. You might be able to get your paint book in a kit that comes with other accessories, which is what I had when I got mine. I'll go over some of those other accessories real quick. So one thing that is super helpful to have are these magnetic side panels. These clip onto the side easily using magnets and then the design of the tension on the back as well holds it in place. There's two that you can get that come in a pair and these items are nesting, which is great. So if you wanted to go and work in another location, you can take these apart and they nest easily and you can easily put that in a bag and go. As you can see, they easily just clip right back in place. I've modified mine just a little bit. There's nothing crazy about it, but I've noticed sometimes my paint brushes might want to fall out of a little gap and I just have a little sponge I've put in there and then I have some extra little bulldog clips to help hold brushes in place because sometimes they've fallen out whenever I've worked. Not a big deal, but just little tweaks to help out. These are made of metal, therefore they're super sturdy, easy to clean, but also magnetic. Another accessory you can get for your paint book is a magnetic turp jar or brush cleaner, whatever you want to call it. So, you all have seen something like this to cleanse your brushes. That is super strong. And that is like one of the most clever design things. I've had a French box easel in the past where I've had a brush cleaner just propped on it. And while I'm working, I knock the thing over. It's so messy and frustrating and interrupts your entire workflow. So something that just clips on with very strong magnet, that is smart. For now, I'm going to remove our side panel so we can get down to the essential paint book. Isn't that easy? Okay, so like I was saying earlier, magnets all over this thing. It's amazing. So one thing that I love to do, palette knives. I'm someone that uses a lot of palette knives to mix up my paint on the palette. And it's just great to have them right here and I don't have to fumble around and look for my palette knives, they're right there. I have them for different purposes so I can easily grab them and get to work. So the palette is held in place with magnets as well. Now the stock 
palette that you will get with your paint book is glass. And glass is awesome. It's easy to clean, as we know. And one thing I love about it is sometimes when I've been working for a long session, I forget that I need to start dinner. So I can leave things, run to the kitchen, get the oven going or whatever, and not have to worry about my paint drying to my wood palette. However, I'm a little weird, and I love wood palettes. Well, Edge Pro Gear makes a variety of palettes for you. There's the glass palette, which I mentioned, that comes with your paint book that has a gray background. But you can also get that in a number of colors, white, black, for example. But gray is the stock one, and it's probably what all of us are really most used to using. You can also get your palette in plexiglass, and you can get it in wood. Now these last two options are great if you're someone that travels a lot because that way you can take your palette with you and not have to worry about it breaking. I really love a wooden palette. I love the patina that wood gets as you work on it. It's so nice and classy and old world, you know? So that's what I prefer to use and it just comes off so easily. The same with the glass one or the plexiglass one. You can easily clean it, magnets on the back, it's all here and holds it in place. It's just beautifully designed. What's great is since you can remove it, this becomes a storage area. I've seen other artists actually store wet paint here. Whenever they're finished with a paint session, they'll, they'll, they can put the paint under here if they need to. What I use mine for is I have some charcoal sticks for drawing. And I installed some other magnets down here that have some adhesive on them uh, with my palette scrapers. So I can easily clean my glass palette, not this one though. But those are just right there in place, completely hidden. Okay, the paintings are held in place by a very brilliant design element. The paintings are held in place by these metal clips that slide on magnets. So they easily come off as you can see. Now, I have modified mine a little bit and I'll get into that in a second. But for now, this is essentially what you have for your paint book. It's like a laptop computer made of wood. Now let's talk about the design again real quick. Notice this channel that's been carved out here and notice our palette. I have some wet paint along my palette here, but I can beautifully just close this and the paint is not making contact with the interior of this product at all. I can take this off of my tripod and put this into my backpack now and the paint is completely sealed it's wonderful so again this fits easily onto a tripod mount you get a tripod connector here line it up with your tripod and boom it just snaps right in place and you can open it and get right to work notice there is no paint here that has been transferred at all it's great that design Let's talk about the system that holds your paintings in place. If you'll notice, there are magnets all along here. And these magnets is what holds these clips in place. These clips slide along this channel and essentially pinch your panel in place to where you want to work. Now, these Thinner clips is what will come with your paint book, and they're more suited to a panel. But you can get a different accessory that's thicker that is made for canvases or cradled panels. Just another great design element. But since there's all these magnets back here, you can actually put those to use. Edge Pro Gear thought of this, and they make an adhesive back which you can buy from them that sticks to the back of a panel and will then hold itself in place here without the use of clips. It's a wonderful idea and I'm so glad they've done it. 
whenever you buy your paint book and if you get it in a kit they typically give you a panel that has that adhesive on the back so you can test that out which is awesome i will tell you though that part of my tips and tricks for this device is i've come up with another way to use those it's great that edge pro gear has given you that self-adhesive magnetic backing which you can use to connect the painting to this and not use the quick strokes however i saw an artist have a discussion with another artist on youtube and they mentioned another little hack that they did and i decided to try it and it's awesome what it is is just a small piece of metal on the back this is the kind of metal that you could get at a hardware store that covers an electrical outlet. And I've got it held in place with these command strokes. Easy to apply, easy to remove, and it just sticks there. And it's so cool. I love this idea because I can put it exactly where I want quickly. And sometimes when I'm working, I like to move my painting around. You know, maybe it's easier for me to get the brush mark that I want by having the painting on its side or even at an angle. And it's so cool that I can just do that with the magnets on the back. Another thing that's great about having a panel on the back which can stick to the magnets of the paint book is you could have multiple paintings. I've used this product when I've been working on a small group and I'll have two paintings at once up here. And that way I can match colors and just apply to both and in increase the efficiency of my workflow. Now, sometimes I get a little ahead of myself and I'm ready to start painting and I have not put the metal plates on the back of my panel yet. Not a problem. That's what those metal strips are there for those sliders to help hold your painting in place well years ago i noticed that edge pro gear had actually tweaked the design of their paint book the way that they had tweaked it is there was a small clip that was in the center here at the bottom that flipped out and actually held the bottom of the panel in place a little bit because i will admit sometimes those sliders have lost their grip a little bit and my painting has slipped. Not a big deal, but if I could fix it, I could. So I did. I love their use of the magnet. So I figured I wanted to try to find some way that I could add that little flippy element that they've added to the new designs of the newer paint books. To do this, I looked at some commonplace things I had in my studio. And one thing that I had, this is just a standard camera tripod mount for a cell phone. And I've used it for a few things in my studio, but I saw it and I thought, what if I could use this on my paint book? I didn't want to do any major work to my paint book and perhaps damage it. So here's what I did. You'll notice there's a metal plate right here. This is a cell phone accessory. This is something that you could buy off Amazon and stick to the back of your cell phone or cell phone case and then stick to an accessory that you might have in your car that is a mount for your phone. It's magnetic and self-adhesive and super thin. So I thought I'd give that a shot and it's stuck here in this middle part in the paint book that isn't used for anything really. And then I took this little camera mount for a phone and I attached some magnets to it. I had to drill holes through it and then epoxy these small magnets in it. And as you can see, it sticks. And this part here flips out that would hold your cell phone. And now I've got like a little easel holder that moves. And can hold help hold the panel in place if I need a little extra help which sometimes I do with this little easel in place now I can attach those sliding clips on top of it 
as you can see, this is so thin that the metal sliding clip goes right on top of it and is not holding it back at all. And now I can take my panel, which is an ampersand gesso board, and put it in place. I can just position it on top of that mount wherever I want because the mount moves because of the magnets on that plate. And I can slide these clips exactly where I need them to be. It's a very simple hack, but it's something that has become super useful for me because there are times when I'm trying to move my panel and I move one of the sliders and I'm trying not to put my fingers in the wet paint and ruin something I've been working hard on and it might come loose. So it's great to have this thing here that just helps hold it in place. And I love that it is fully adjustable as you've seen. I would love it if Edge Pro Gear offered something similar to this as a aftermarket product. Um, but at this time, I think it's just available on the newer pieces. So if you have an old paint book, this is a simple trick that you can do with yours. If you're looking to get a new one, check and see if that mount is available on the paint book that you're looking to buy. Another super cool accessory that Edge Pro Gear designed for their paint book is the use of a portable gooseneck light. Yes, there is a mount right here at the top that you can see where a light attaches to it. You can get this lamp from them that has a flexible gooseneck handle and it connects with these two prongs right in these two holes at the top. Isn't that awesome? So this can be moved however you need it. And this LED light is also dimmable. And it comes with a little screen that goes on the top so you can change your color temperature. If you're, say, working at night, you want something that's a little warmer, cooler, whatever. It's a lot of options. What's great is this is powered by rechargeable batteries. So you can take it out in the field with you without having to worry about plugging in something into a wall in your studio. However, I will warn you, these batteries don't last too long. So be sure to get a backup one if you plan on getting something like this. I have an extra one in my wall at all times so I can swap them out when one dies. And also I don't keep the light up very, very high just to prolong the life of it. Whenever I bought my kit back in 2017, they sold it with a battery powered light that ran off actual batteries, which wasn't a great design element, but it had an AC adapter, which was, it's awesome because here in the studio, I can plug that into a wall and not have to worry about the rechargeable batteries. I don't use the light too much when I'm here in the studio, but there are times when it's handy. Like if I'm working on a still life and I've got something in a box and I don't want too much light bouncing around, the, the small focus light on my paint, paint book can give me the light that I need to work from while having my still life set up in a dramatic shadow box and not having too much light around. And then I can see what I'm doing. There are other cool accessories you can get for your paint book that attach to your tripod. There's a holder that can hold paper towels. There's a holder that can hold a, an iPad or a cell phone. There's also holders that can hold paint brushes, which attach to your tripod, which are really cool and helpful. Not necessarily necessary, but I find having these here at hand is great when you're out in the field or in someone else's workspace as well. I cannot say enough good things about this product. It is incredible what Edge Pro Gear has done with the elegant design of the paint book. It is such a pleasure to use and it is so efficient. All of the little elements that they put into it to help you work better. The little customizations that I've suggested from the metal plates on the back of a panel to stick it to the magnets here to my little cell phone holder that adds as another support. It's all made this even 
better. If any of you that are watching right now have ever been curious about this, sat on the fence about whether to buy one or not, I cannot encourage you enough to go ahead and pull the trigger. It's an amazing product and I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please click that like button. It really helps the channel out. I'm trying to grow this community and bring more art related content to you all to help you in your studio practices. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please also do that. I want you all to stay up to date and informed with what I'm doing. And I want you also to contribute to be part of this community. I'm really excited for those of you that have subscribed to the channel. It's so nice to see it grow and to see all the communication that I'm getting. It's, it's very exciting and rewarding, and I have so many ideas of new things I want to do, so please stay tuned. Okay, everyone, I really appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, everyone.